with this workflow file being built, I can go ahead and either initiate the, the workflow manually, or I can let it be triggered based off of the schedule that I've selected. And as the workflow com completes, our results will be sent in, in GitHub for visibility. So let's just go ahead and assume that the workflow is successful. And as you've seen, based off of the schedule, I have a bunch of successful workflows. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the result as it pushes them back into um, GitHub security. And for this, I would need to go under the security tab. And under the security tab, we will take a look at code scanning alerts where we can view those issues that have been highlighted from, from the scan. And for starters, it provides us with high level details. Uh, as you can see, for some of the issues that have been pulled in, there's a SQL injection hibernate that has been highlighted. And all I need to do is click into one of these. As an example, it's going to provide me um, just with a snippet from, from the code itself where this um, issue was executed. Um, it provides some other metrics like, like the rule ID. It also provides the file name um, where I can locate this Java file to make the necessary remediation changes that are needed. Um, but for team members to get additional work workflows, be it the full analysis trace, or a visual diagram of, of the da data flow, or even recommendations on, on, on how to resolve the issue, then we highly recommend that users connect back into the Fortify on-demand tenant to view the details provided um, within our, our portal.